generic YouTube introduction. Hello, so in this video we're just going to be looking at some of the recent sort of updates on to the Aritex ecosystem, um, sort of on the main main project. I don't know how often, how often I'm going to make these, sort of however often I can sort of fill all the tabs at the top. So first thing I thought we'd look at is the new burn drop tokenomics update. Um, for those who can't remember, I'm not going to read through it all, but about 10% of the total supply was set back towards this burn drop and then it came up into the air drip and now they're proposing to take a large chunk of that and put it towards this machine fight DAO which I think is going to go towards developing sort of applications within the machine fi sort of area of the Iotex ecosystem which I think is a quite a good update I'll put a link to this in the description if you want to go and read it but yeah, it says here, but basically the goal is to provide opportunity for the community to determine how burn drop funds are spent. We hope strategy will be proposed to develop the community and these funds will best support the Iotex growth of the Iotex and Machine Fire, as well as reward long-term stakeholders. So yeah, it's just going to be invested into Machine Fire stuff. But yeah, I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, it's pretty certain that this is going to get implemented. It's currently just under 98% of the delegates have voted yes, so this is probably going to happen. So yeah, a good change, I think. The next thing is the new delegates portal. Uh, we've looked at some of this stuff briefly before, uh, but mainly for the people who own nodes, people who run nodes, there's a whole new portal. There's a, there's a new online sort of wizard where you can go through and create your node, and it's a lot more user-friendly. And uh, we mentioned Fastblocks before, but yeah, it's just sort of a, a web viewer where you can access a... You don't even have to run the server in your house. They, you pay them a monthly fee, and they run the server for you. Yeah, there's a whole new delegates poll. Um, I'll put a video to this in the description as well. But the uh, official Iotex uh, YouTube channel has done a whole video going through it, so I suggest you check out Aaron's video because he goes into it in depth. There's also a fast blocks video about how that works. But yeah, another good update, I think. Um, makes it a lot more user friendly. Uh, next, I just we thought we'd look at the Iotex official YouTube channel quickly, and it's got some of the videos we'd just talked about, um, as well as some live streams. These two here are workshops from more of a development point of view. Uh, I try to watch them, but I can't really follow along, along once they start getting into sort of the coding and the languages and stuff. That's, that's not me. But yeah, if anyone's interested in that, I just put them on. Whilst I'm working, sort of look in and look away. It's, it's a good one to listen to, but it goes above me. Um, also, as a tutorial with one of the new IOPay, IOPay updates, which we'll look at the, the IOPay 2.2 update in a minute. Uh, next, I just wanted to talk about this because there was this tweet about their partnership with Cartesi. If you click the link, it actually doesn't work. However, I managed to find the Cartesi stream, which does work. And this was quite interesting to listen to. It's basically, at the moment, IOTEX use the Google Cloud computing system to do their back-end AI analysis on the, the IoT web stream layer. And I think that Cartesi have made a better back-end system, if that makes any sense. But I'm not an expert. If anyone wants to watch that, I'll put a link to this in the description as well. But yeah, I found this hour really interesting and I could follow along a lot more than any other ones. They sort of talk about loads of bullish scenarios and yeah, it was a good listen. So I should just checking it out. Um, next is the IOPay 2.2 update. Now I could only really find two major things about this and that was here where we've got these three new networks included in, in the cost rate cross chain capabilities, Avalanche Phantom and Arbitrum. And then the other update was this thing here where you can basically buy an IOTEX domain and then instead instead of instead of sending people your wallet address you can give them your domain and they could just send it to your domain kind of like a street address or an email or something yeah, I'll put a link to that but that was the other update I think was the, the address forward end capability and then the last thing I wanted to look at just quickly is IOTEX it is 20 millionth block which is a big achievement. No party or anything, but I think that's pretty big news. It's a big milestone. So yeah, thanks for watching. Any feedback's appreciated. I'll uh, see you all soon. Thank you.